Hi everyone, my name is Stacey. I'm a UX designer based in London and today I will teach you how to design and build your own interactive map. I know that coding might come across as very challenging and difficult for many people, but actually it's really easy and there's so much information out there that you can find and take and use just for free on your website. You can twist things around and I'll show you how I select JavaScript snippets that I use to create the maps. So to begin with, I'm going to source our map. Um, I just take it from the internet. I drop it here. So now we have our image in Illustrator and I'm going to trace it. And settings, even more white. And let's just play around with the settings a little bit. So I think this works fine. And let's create the markers. We're going to click on the markers and the text will appear on the map. So markers should be as a part of the image. Well, they can be a part of the code, but I'm just trying to make it easy. We select the circle and let's do this. Give it a color, give it a nice contrast color. Let's make it a little brighter. Yeah, I like it. And let's do a few more. Let's do this one. Okay, and let's go Brazil. Okay, so now we do the same thing. We export, export as, SVG, replace, doesn't matter. So copy the code and go to my Google, play the code, and now you can see. So I'll change the view for you. So and now you can see the map is here with the markers, and the markers are marked as circle in our code so we can search for circle now let's give so they have the same class and basically this class is linked to css that says that this is a color we can always change it um so but let's add another class marker um this one is i guess russia So we gave the class to the marker, we have our map. Let's now put the text. So div and don't forget to close the tag, always close the tag otherwise it will the code will break and you'll spend ages to look for the mistake. So div um let's do P for paragraph. Type really bad at this. Um, so welcome. Let's do H for header. Okay, welcome to Russia. Yeah. And paragraph now. Close the paragraph. Beware. Okay. So we have our text. It's right here now, and we'll give this entire element class. We'll actually give two classes. The one we'll use for styling and another one we'll give to each element to hide. I'll get to this later. So first of all we give class um we give class Russia text. So this class is going to be specific for each text window and now we'll give the same class to everyone. Um, to apply the styling and to hide them all. So let's just call it hide. So we have this, and um, let's just make four of this because we have, we have four. Oh, we lost UK. No, UK is black for some reason. Anyway, <laughs> okay, Russia, then UK, welcome to UK, my home, then class, um, then what's the USA, welcome to. Okay. 
So, and we have all of them here. Um, let's put it all in the body because I want to apply the background color. Body, and we have to close the tag. Yeah, this SVG codes, they're huge. And body. And now let's go to our CSS, type body background color. Background color black. So then let's hide. So now it selects all the elements that has class height and we can apply the style into them. So for example, we can do background color. Let's do gray for now and see if it works. And it doesn't. Oh, it gets it. Oh, our element height, every element with a class height has a gray background. Um, what do we do next? Let's do border radius. Border radius, just to make it a little pretty, but... I want to sort out the functionality first and then we'll get to design, but I kind of like design on the flow as well. So with the radius, let's do five pixels and text align um, center uh, position. So now we're going to give it a position because I want this text to be to appear on top, so the position is really important in here. I'll put position absolute, but once I do that, all our elements are going to clutter on top of each other. But don't worry, it's totally fine, it means it's working. So I'm in position absolute. And go. Yeah. Okay, so our map is up and all our elements are underneath one another. And um, margin. Again, every time I just try to sort out functionality first because if functionality is not working and you already spend a lot of time uh, doing CSS, and then you'll have to start again and rebuild stuff and then you'll just have to do the styling again, uh, which is just a tremendous waste of time. But I know that I'm going to succeed in this, so that's why I'm deciding right now. Okay, so we have uh, our text, a question mark, and then we're going to... Now it, all the, all our elements are positioned, and what we're going to do now, we're going to add JavaScript. So how we do it? So <laughs> how I research, I just usually type in Google. For example, we need we need click one element, and we need another element to toggle. And I usually just go Google toggle elements. So I have the link open, but I'll just search like show again toggle yeah i have it in my search history so toggle and click that's basically what the functionality we need it doesn't have you don't have to find like exact map that does exact things that you need to but you just need to understand like how it's going to function so basically you need to find somewhere a code snippet that when you click one element, the other element, like something happens to this. And then you just apply the styles and change the command, like fade in, fade out, toggle and stuff like this. Um, so, yeah, I don't remember which one that was. Let's see. So, yeah, for example, this is our functionality. This is the exact thing that I was looking for. So we have two elements and this element hides when you click on this one. So imagine this is our marker and this is literally our paragraph. So once you click on the marker, the paragraph will 
first appear and then disappears. This one is doing the other way around, but it doesn't matter because we're just like going to hide the element first and then when we click on our marker, it's going to appear. So let's just copy this part. So we need to copy this part and put it in our HTML. Um, we put it before the body. So copy this and now we're copying the script and placing it here. So now it's not going to work because we don't have button, but we do have P. Uh, so we just swap it with marker, marker Russia. So for example, when you click marker Russia, so, okay. First of all, the first line is document ready function. So it literally says our document is ready to function. Um, then we tell him, or her that this marker when it's click there is this function so p our paragraph is going to toggle so now it toggles all our p elements it doesn't toggle it doesn't toggle our header because it's header element it toggles only our p element and we'll put class russia text toggle so now now it triggers only our russia text um, so I'm going to apply the same thing to all of our elements and I'm just going to fast forward it. So now everything works all nicely and mm -hmm -hmm. Um, yeah let's hide them all first of all so that's why we had the similar class so each div had its own class and class hide so because someone like once user opens our map so there will be no text so that's why we have to hide text only when you click the marker the text will appear and what we do is so we put hide okay hide dot hide and we do this weird brackets so this okay you see now it's all hidden but the problem is that once you clicked it it doesn't go away and i want it to go away so what we do we just take this command and we paste it after each click command if it makes sense so every time you click on something all our hide elements disappear and then opens up that el element that is like next in the line it would make sense so for example our marker russia we would click so it hides all the elements again and it opens up our russia text so it should work like this and let's do it everywhere and see if it works okay so all hidden ta -da. Yay! So now we're just basically going to make it a little bit more pretty. So first of all, I want it to fade in instead of toggle. I think that will be a nice effect and we can slow it down. So let's do fade in and start of a second. So let's do fade in. Okay, cool. Okay, now it's time to see what's happening with our UK marker. Oh, because there is an, and it lost it. Okay, so all fixed now. Um, what we're going to do? Let's add some text at the top, some header, so it looks more more like something. Um, more welcome to. Okay, 
let's do some style here. Color white. Just go with black. Let's go to Google Fonts. Uh, Google Fonts and let's just do search. Oh, I actually like this one. Add this and this one. Again, sorry, I'm moving myself. And let's go here. Replace this one. And now I can do this. One. Okay, I hope I won't put these little fonts anymore. And let's put it here. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Oh, I actually like it. Okay, uh, now let's do the same for Heather. But we need font weight. Weight. 500. And this one was 300. Text transform. I think that's a command. I'm not sure. Again, that's why I always Google and double check. And You don't have to keep everything in your head as long as you have a vision. You can always just like Google it, ask. You can always learn as long as you have a vision, but you cannot learn how to come up with ideas. So you don't have to keep everything in your head. We all have internet. So um, let's try. Let's try some color like this. Let's see if it works design-wise. Um, yeah, I like it. Okay. Well, this is it. Yay! Um, so this is how you do it. Easy. I'm leaving the link in the comment in the description area just go play around with it change the text and if you want to change the map you go to your illustrator or like wherever editor you're working in and export a svg file and you can just swap the svg that's it and another map is ready so it's really easy and it's a very popular feature and for example if you want to add it on your website i can make another video just let me know or i'll probably just make another video um on how to integrate this code to your like wix or wordpress or squarespace website so yeah you just like basically match the code together and add it in this snippet kind of explained it so yeah but people do hire me for this you know <laughs> okay goodbye I think we both hit upside. <clears throat> um.